for me tonight is not just about racing or time or anything like that. It's not just about weight loss. It's all those things. Plus it represents this entire shift in my mindset, in my soul, in my perspective about who I am as a person. I am a runner. I, I decided that long ago. I've just never been able to do it. And now I'm at the point in my life where I've lost 28 pounds and I can run a mile without stopping. And it blows my mind that I'm actually able to do this. I know other people run 5Ks in 20 minutes. And, and that's great. But for a fat person like me, who's not a fat person deep down inside, this is unheard of. I'm just super grateful that I haven't been injured yet, that I'm healthy, that I'm able to do this. And I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks so much for all your support. Godspeed. I don't know how I did it. It is so freaking windy and it's like 46 degrees. Oh my God. Did I run that? I love it. I didn't think I could do it. Thought it'd be an hour and 20 minutes. Holy crap. Proud of me. Man. Way to kick some ass. Seriously. Hey guys, in the aftermath of the race, there were a couple things I wanted to mention to you. One, I am super sore today and I stretched really well after the race last night, but I am still sore today. Not as bad as what I would have expected, but um, the thing that probably is hurting me the most today is my left foot. And that is potentially because of the difference in the conditions that I was running in. I picked what I thought would be a great path for me to run along the water. Very scenic, very quiet, not a lot of traffic, very beautiful, uh, cute cottages and things like that. And what wound up happening is the road was in poor condition. The first third and the last third were pavement, decent conditions, runnable, um, no issues. But the middle third was in an area, a residential cottage type area, where there was a lot of debris and gravel and sand and stuff left over from winter. As I've mentioned to you before, I live in a four season area of the U.S. And the pavement breaks up from one season to the next when the pavement expands and contracts it breaks up and causes potholes so there's that debris as well unevenness and because I was running along the water the ground itself was uneven so it was a difficult run not like on the treadmill and so my feet my left foot in particular um, and my left knee are a little bit more sore than what I would normally notice after running at the gym on a treadmill. But not to the point where it hurts to walk. Um, in fact, as soon as the rain stops this afternoon, my husband and I and my son are going to go on a bike ride. So, um, because it's supposed to be like super warm today. So, and we wait all winter for this kind of weather. I just got out of the shower, my hair's wet. So, sorry about the appearance. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is I experienced chafing last night in areas that I never, 
experienced before. Never. Never even thought of. I thought of and planned out my outfit very carefully yesterday too. But there was a 15 degree temperature difference and a roughly 10 to 15 mile per hour wind coming directly at me from where I live. This this was the difference between where I lived versus where I ran because I traveled a, a small distance to get to where I was going to run this route. And so not only was weather an issue, but these other things that I was not expecting, like the uneven pavement and the chewed up pavement. Um, I knew the whole course was paved, but I wasn't expecting like the conditions to be an issue or chafing to be an issue. And when I got home last night and changed, I actually discovered that I bled in some areas because the chafing was so bad that it rubbed my skin raw. And that floored me because I thought the outfit I was wearing was well thought out and I had never experienced chafing before. So I was quite surprised about that. So the other thing that I thought of and I wanted to mention is at the beginning of this video, I talk about my nerves and how incredibly upset my stomach was. I could not wrap my head around why I was feeling like that. And I came to the conclusion that it was adrenaline. You know, I was very excited to run my first race in several years. And as soon as my feet were hitting the pavement, those butterflies went away. And I was, I found myself focused very much on breathing. And my pace and the conditions and the wind and my cold body and other things. But... More importantly, one of the things that I was thinking about um, prior to the race is the fact that I'm a fat person. And my entire life, I've been a fat person. I've never not been a fat person, except when I was a little kid. And yet deep down inside and in my heart, I never accepted that. That's not who I was. I never was able to articulate to anyone that I was not a fat person. You know, that's the first thing that people notice about you is your exterior physical appearance. But inside, I never felt like a fat person. And so I've never been able to wrap my head around or accept that physically I was a fat person. And so whenever someone would take pictures of me, or clothes wouldn't fit, or when I would look in the mirror, something as simple as that. I It, it was like um, a shock to me. It was a surprise. And I don't think I'm alone in this. I think sometimes, you know, we forget that we're fat. We forget that we're obese. We forget that we overeat, which causes us to be big, bigger than what we should, bigger than what our bodies are strong to carry. And I think that's the whole point of when I was mentioning a while ago about why would it be so different for me now versus in the past? Why would I be able to succeed? And I believed, and I mentioned this in the prior videos, that the only way I'm able to succeed now is because I'm mentally and emotionally and spiritually strong and healthy and, and that is what has changed. That's what's different this time around. And how that correlates is truth. Truth. Seeing and believing in what is in front of you and in, in recognizing it for what it is. Not what you think it is, not what you feel it is, not what you believe it is, but what is. And the fact is, I had to get to the point where I looked myself in the mirror and, and and said, something does not add up. I am a fat person. That that person that's looking back at me is not who I am. It, it doesn't make sense. And that's the difference. I'm not who anybody else has said I am. All the labels that I have felt about myself my whole life, I finally learned are wrong and inaccurate and untrue. They're lies. And I'm not a fat person either. And so that's a lie too. 
So therefore, I'm not going to live as a fat person. Therefore, I'm going to be strong and fit and eat well. And because I'm not a fat person, that's not me. It's not me in my heart. It's not me in my soul. It's not me in my head. It's not the future I see for myself. It's not the future I see for my husband and I as a retired couple or grandparents if our boys wind up having kids. Um, it, it's just not in the cards. I am not a fat person. I think that's the ticker right there is that I have not wanted to and I have rejected that I'm a fat person, the truth that I'm a fat person and my whole life. And that's why the weight has never come off. I've never been able to stick with any sort of program or diet or to, to lose pounds because it was always for superficial reasons. It wasn't for any actual meaning, you know, it wasn't something that I correlated to self. It was always for external validation and always for um, what kind of comfort and love and acceptance that I might feel in return as a result of losing weight instead of loving myself for who I am, accept accepting myself for who I am, recognizing the truth about who I am, that I'm a loving, giving, kind, wonderful, imperfect person, but who is always striving to do better and do good. And in that vein, that is why, that is the only reason I've been allowed to succeed. I've been blessed or given the gift of whatever you might call it, strength, willpower, whatever it is internally, I don't accept anymore that I'm a fat person because I'm not. Deep down inside, I'm not. For me, that's a pretty huge deal. When I stop and think about why am I able to succeed this time? Why am I able to shed pounds? Why am I able to stick with this program when I couldn't stick with so many before? Why am I able to shave time off my runs? Why am I able to increase the weights when I'm weight, weight training? Why am I able to resist temptations and cravings? Why do I want to eat the good foods? Is because I think I finally realized that eating good foods and fueling my body well and having a strong body and being able to do physically things that I've never been able to do are who I am deep down inside. In my mind, I've always believed I was a cyclist. I've always believed I was a runner. I've just never actually done it. I've never actually been able to do it because of the extra weight. And it was always so discouraging before to realize that it was always such a slap in the face. You gotta get mentally, spiritually, and emotionally healthy and work on inside of you first and get healthy. That's the only way you're gonna succeed. I thank you for tuning in to Whole Wellness with Anne and this journey that I'm on. And thank you very much for your encouraging words and your support. Till next time, guys. Take care.